Welcome back, everyone. David from Sign and Slab, and today we're going to do mail day for Tuesday, August 29th. So let's get started. Heat out of the gate. Uh, this is a set that I'm, man, I'm really liking it, but I, because I just love the design, the historic design of these cards. And so let's just fire away. 2022 Tops Chrome Platinum. This is your Mookie Betts Black. I guess it's supposed to be a refractor. I don't, I don't know if it's really that refractory, but it's, it's your Black. These are numbered out of 10. If I can, there we go. Numbered out of 10. So pretty rare parallel of Mookie. I'm just, man, I'm digging this set, and you're about to see. But I uh, was super happy to pick this up early on. This is the sort of thing that, like, it's tough because if you don't, if you don't buy it close enough to release, it maybe gets harder to run down. But over time, maybe it's not as necessarily as expensive because the newness is worn off. But as as a as a Mookie, basically super collector. I just loved the image on this card. I, as I said, I really like the 1953 design. You, you know, numbered out of 10. If this thing was gold, it'd go for 4x what this cost me. Um, it is, it's a relatively new set, right? They first did Topps Chrome Platinum in 2021 um, using the 1952 Topps design. I actually think this year's set looks a lot better than the 52 design. That's my personal feeling my personal opinion on it but could be a fun little could be a fun issue each year to collect so i you know i'm mostly after mookies and then i also like autographs so there are some different parallel autographs in there but i'm like totally digging the blues man i'm like i'm virtually addicted to bidding on these cards uh I, and so started winning some. So this is the blue prism refractor auto. Xander Bogarts, you know, you might say why. This was really just more a price thing. I felt, I mean, when you can buy a current starting major league shortstop for under 30 bucks with an on-card auto. I mean, these aren't sticker autos. They're on-card. The blue prisms. Are numbered out of 99 I just thought again man this is just a great looking card and so I was like why not I'm gonna I'm just gonna start buying some of this stuff see how it connects with me but as you'll see it's been connecting for sure I love Hall of Famer autographs and so here we've got Rod Carew 3,000 hit guy very kind of under underspoken sort of superstar from the from the 80s and uh 70s and 80s anyway again numbered out of 99 his autographs kind of suffered over the years but I, I i just man it's such a great image of him I throw that autograph on there i just these things these things are kind of timeless if you ask me um next up the act Dennis Eckersley, one of the kind of one of the coolest signatures out there. Um, actually, it's really hard to get a ten on his signature too because he just it's kind of all over the place. This one won't ten. It's got a little it's got a little skip up there, but um, you know, still really nice looking card. World Series champ, Hall of Famer, numbered out of ninety nine. I just think you can't beat this. Next up, Steve Carlton, another Blue Prism Refractor from 2022, Tops Chrome Platinum. That's a lot to say. But uh, Steve Carlton, another great pitcher, World Series winner. Can't beat it. Another Hall of Famer, multi-time World Series winner, Raleigh Fingers, one of the greatest mustaches in history, certainly in, in the history of sports. Cool signature. I actually got his got his autograph at the national um, on one of the World Series tickets the year uh, that he was an MVP. So uh, Raleigh fingers, and then there are other 
colors on the refractors. So this one, I think, was called Aqua, maybe. It's numbered out of 150. But I like this one for Raleigh because it was a, a pseudo A's color match. Uh, again, they're so cheap that it's just like, I don't know, to me, it's sort of why not. I think somebody really looking to put together now a, a, an autographed Hall of Famer collection, if you don't want to go back and try and find the rookie cards and whatever, maybe this is the kind of stuff that, that allows you to supplement your collection and build something out that you really like. Uh, without breaking the bank. Uh, this one is pretty, these are pretty refractory. Uh, the, the blue prisms are too. Um, but I just, you know, and it might, listen, it might, if you have a favorite player like that, it might be fun to kind of chase them, chase down each of the autograph parallels. I don't know. Uh, last but not least from this group, we've got a Larry Walker. This is a black auto. These are also numbered out of 10. Uh, this is one I take a little bit of a flyer on. I've, I bought the Blue Prism already, have been on a few others, but, you know, wanted to, I, I like Larry Walker, uh, enjoyed watching him play, somebody that I kind of really knew from the, from the 90s and 2000s, because he played it for Colorado, but would be in Houston. He was always a, a decent signer. Um, so somebody that I just enjoyed watching, uh, you know, earlier on in my life. Uh, and so, and, and also, like people know, I, I'm 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 a nearly adopted Canadian, to be honest. Like the the guys in Canada, I think like me pretty good. So anyway, Larry Walker, the black auto numbered to ten, pretty cool. So that's the group of our 2022 tops Chrome Platinum autographs, and of course. My main man, Mookie. And then last card today, big heater. The basketball guys go nuts over this stuff. We've got a 1997 upper deck game used jersey, Clyde Drexler. These cards were incredibly difficult pulls. And uh, I, this is the first one of these I've ever owned. And as people who follow me on Instagram know, I like to get this kind of stuff signed. And so I may stash this for the next Drexler signing, to be honest, versus popping it out and grading it. Uh, I, I think I might get it autographed and then do a dual grade on it afterwards, you know, assuming the autograph comes out of 10, which hopefully it will. But I picked this up on eBay. You can see it went, had to go through their authentication program. But anyway, was super excited to get this local guy, local hometown guy, played college basketball here. Came back and played for the Rockets professionally here. Won a title, that second title with the Rockets. So anyway, super, was super excited to get this. A big, big card. So anyway, today's recap, we got some baseball, some basketball, some autographs, some and some raw cards. No, no slap stuff this time. But uh, anyway, pretty, pretty great mail day. Especially pleased with these two. So... That's it for today. I hope you enjoy these. If you got questions, let me know in the comments. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing these every couple days because that is actually how frequently about I get mail. And uh, follow me on Instagram at sign and slab. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.